Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we want to learn how to create site property lines using existing survey plans. So for those architects who have problem drawing site plan, I know many people have problem drawing site plan with AutoCAD and so many other software. This Re Revit is so intelligent, you can actually use your property line, you can become numbers to give you your, your, your site. Revit is so intelligent, it can give you your site plan. So today, without wasting much time, let's go to site. So you go to massing and site. Make sure you go to model site. Click this. Make sure this is in degrees. Okay, apply. Okay. Then you click on property line. Select create by entering distances and bearing. So with this now, I have an example of a survey plan here. Let me zoom in. So you can actually start from any point. You know the distance and angle of each property line from each point from one point to another. So let's start from here. So this is actually 28.06 meter. So in millimeter, you remember whatever unit you are using is what you are going to type there. So this means this is 28,060 millimeter. Yes. 28,060 millimeter, yes. So we type it 28. So another thing you get on that line is the bearing angle, 7 degrees 55 minutes. So type this, 7 degrees 55 minutes. So next thing you do is say insert. So with that, you go to the next line. If you're moving clockwise or anticlockwise, whatever line you start with, you just continue clockwise. Or if you're moving anticlockwise, you go to this place. But let's move clockwise. This one is 18.28 meter, which is 18,280 millimeter. So we'll type it here. Then the angle is 98 degrees 48 minutes. So the next one, go to insert. Next one should be this 28,640 millimeter. 28,640 millimeter. Then the, ang the angle is 187 degree 55 minutes. 5 minutes. So in Revit, there's no point in creating a, a table for this one. The next thing you just do in Revit, you add add line to close. Click on add line to close. Revit is, uh, is smart enough to calculate the closing line. So when you click that, it will actually give you. So let's go check. This is 18.29 to 280 degrees. You can see 18.31 is slightly different, but 280 degrees 36 minutes. You see, it's the same angle so with that you can close and here you have it you can actually view the property line any floor so it's as simple as that you can repeat the process for the same process for whatever shape of property of uh, survey plan you have you can actually repeat that process for all of them just make sure you start from any point or any line and make it clockwise or anticlockwise from any line you start from and voila to give you your site survey plan thank you very much for watching this video please like and subscribe our page for more videos